Okay, here to solve the spiral galaxies by Maharajan Tanta called White Hole, and that's going to be from the center uh, section entirely. I'm just marking off some edges I know for sure based off galaxies near other galaxies. That'll sometimes give me a first place to look as I just mark these around the grid. One of the things I'm seeing is this upper left corner has a lot of room for it, but it's going to have to reach out and connect into some other spaces. It looks like this could connect into here and still work down there. It could also connect across the top and go over to here. So there's some stuff to think about how do we reach in and out of this corner. There's also a bit of a limitation in it looks like the lower right, and that's just uh, recognizing there are some cells we can't quickly reached. This one in particular, when we mark it off, is one of the first ones I'm seeing, and that's because it can't come down here and it can't join up here, so this has to come across. You'll notice that if this were coming through this reflected center, um, it, this would be no good, so this has to keep coming up and it will join into this shape here as a fourth spot. Um, that actually does a few things. First, if we just trace the limits of edges, there's no extra cell we can take here, no extra cell we can take there, so we've got one cut in. Uh, this is still an available cell, but these are not, and this is not. So that's actually going to give us another group that's growing up here. And putting that in marks off this edge, which is going to mark in this group. These two cells join into that galaxy, so this actually now finishes off this whole green shape. Puts this into the grid, closes this out. Uh, so we still then have some cells that are hard to reach into, and so let's sort of think about which those are. This is one right here that's going to be pretty key. It can't come to this galaxy or that galaxy. This is always part of a channel, and it can't join to this because that's going to take it through other galaxy shapes. doesn't join to this, so this is going to be a, a big yellow group that's coming through. Notice there are some cells we now know it can't take if we just reflect the edges from other sides. One of those cells is this cell. Uh, which would be taking up this uh, in white circle, would take into this, so this now has to be part of another galaxy. I'll do this now with lines this time. This will have to come down and it forms this shape in, in doing that, so this is some good progress. Uh, we've got the edges marked here, we've got this top limit, so this will be a limit that we can put in the grid. That now even means as we look in this corner, we've got a cell like this that has to get somewhere, can't join this galaxy, so it joins the one above it. Uh, we then even have a cell like this that can't join into this galaxy, so this has to come from another cell. Get this marked in, get this, this part of the shape at least known for sure. Uh, this cell here has to join into a galaxy, so it's going to join into this one. We have a cell here that can't come from above, so this will have to come from this other galaxy. Can yellow reach all the way to this cell? It can't. So where we have this, this shape, and we do need to get these cells taken, we can't reach out to this extra cell. So this is actually a part of the shape. Puts this in, reflects that down here. Putting this into the grid, we get a big galaxy. Cuts this in, it gives this section in white. So this cell is part of the galaxy in yellow still. Everything else closes off, and this line will give a last big galaxy finishing the division of the grid. So. Pretty systematic way to break down this puzzle, again just looking at uh, limited cells and looking at how those have to pair up to single galaxies and then tracing that around the grid to get more limitations. Seeing that the upper left was pretty key, eventually as we got yellow growing in there, we could use these two big reaching galaxies to take the rest of the puzzle apart and form the shapes. So hope you got something through this video, thanks Marat for the puzzle, and we'll see you again soon.